Facebook Live, we have arrived. <clears throat> Getting it in early. Um, today, I'm going to hang out with the fam in a little bit. So we are uh, getting it in early. Hallelujah. Let's get a prayer in, y'all. So let's get ready. Um, let's do this. Um, let's rock. I don't hear nothing. Oh. Okay, y'all with me? Let's see here. Conference unmuted. All right, here we go. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman. Yahoo to Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann. On the evening scripture study on this fifth day in June 2019. Ready to get it in. Tamika, how you doing? Kedra. Two, two queens in the house. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Um, we're going to Proverbs, the first chapter, right? Proverbs, the first chapter. Mr. Man, Mr. Man. We're going to James, sir. James, I mean, your name, James. We're going to Proverbs, Proverbs, the first chapter. Um, Proverbs 1 and 20. And look what it says. <clears throat> Proverbs 1 and 20. It says, um, Wisdom crieth without. She utters her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief places of concourse. Right? And in the opening of the gates in the city, she utters her words saying, How long? You simple ones, will you love simplicities and scorners delight in their scornings and fools? Hate knowledge. Turn you at my rep reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit onto you. I will make known my words onto you. Um, like, start off with the scripture that that just puts everything in its proper perspective right um saint john's 3 and 16 right for Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not uh, perish but have everlasting life um, he didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved so you know, that's the ultimate goal, to, you know, it, from the most high salvation. And if we look at, like, the signs of the times, the, the days we're living in, um, and you have any awareness of the most high or uh, of morality, moral, moral standards and good, you, you, you would have to conclude we're in a whole lot of trouble. And then the amount of trouble um, that we're in can get lost. And it can get lost because, um, you know, it's easy to say we've been hearing that all my life, you know, of the trouble we're in, of the soon coming destruction. I've been hearing that all my life. But, but if, if one is paying attention you'll see that the times are getting worse and worse. It'd be different if there was a redundance of um, saying destruction is coming, but things are maintaining, maintain, remaining the same. But everyone that's paying attention, not even the whole, you ain't gotta be paying a whole lot of attention, just, just 
just just barely paying attention, you can see the love of many is waxing cold and and and, and sin is on an incline. Uh, days are getting uh, you know eviler and eviler. And so now from a theological standpoint, there is a ripening of sin that then uh, provokes the most high to move. There's an increase of sin, you know. Now going back to the saying, the straw that broke the camel's back. There comes a time to where is enough is enough. Now I'm talking about the state of this world. The uh, the word, uh, you know, teaches a conclusion for us to save ourselves from this untoward generation. To save ourselves from this untoward generation, meaning your surroundings, are these generations that are growing away from the Creator. The word is teaching like. Save yourself from them. It teaches a theology like um, come out from among them and be separate. Be because of the direction that they're going in, because there is an increase of sin. And then to possess a, a manuscript, a book that tells the past, present, and future. I mean, when I was coming up, it, it wasn't perceivable of, of a little chip that would prevent one from buying and selling. But now the technology is here. So the book was in, 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 in what we can classify in the olden days spoke of a technology that's now current because of the prophetic value of what they call the Bible. Now, unfortunately, that um, technology is to our demise because it would prevent one from being able to buy and sell except they receive the mark. And whatever the mark might be, whether it's actually the chip or the state of mind, the spiritual uh, uh, deprived state uh, that the devil would like us to have being the mark um, selling out going along with this evil system being a partaker of this evil system could be the mark but whatever it is we know is anti yah that's without question huh. and so here in Proverbs it is offering uh, a state of mind. It said, wisdom cries without. She uttered her voice in the streets. In other words, um, the word, the appeal, the cry is going to the four corners of the earth, compelling people to stop, to repent, to reconsider, to turn around. To accept your Savior, accept the way out. That, that's the cry. Wisdom crieth without. She uttered her voice in the street. She, she cries in the chief places of Concord. And, 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 and that is like, um, like the boardroom or the wall where, that, that, that would speak to the masses. They didn't have television back then, you know, being able to shout from a position that everyone gets the message. Now, now we have it on Facebook and Instagram and we have it on television. We have it in email. We have it in books. We have it. We got it. The, 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 the cry is going out in the chief places of Concord and in the opening of the gates and in the cities. Um, she utters her words saying, how long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity and scorn the delight in the scorners and fools hate knowledge? Now, it's the devil's job to cause us to hate knowledge. And if you look at his methodology 
of how he worked on Eve to cause her to despise the instruction of her creator was to convince her that there was something wrong with the creator. And that's uh, primarily the formula that the devil loves to use. It's to cause someone to be offended, to hurt someone, um, to give them a reason to shy away from their help. You know, he's, he's a master at wounding and offending Casting stumbling blocks that will cause one to digress. That's not the only tactic he uses because some folks is not interested in the most high because they're on the chase, they're on the paper chase. Um, they're, they're, they're after um, uh, the pleasures that they believe this life could, could supply, which is another lie. Uh, the relationships nowadays ain't worth a plum nickel. Huh. Folks is looking for love in all the wrong places. Uh, you got you got you got folks is trying to escape this place through narcotics and mind altering substances, trying to escape the pain of this place. But um, the the word is like saying, you know, why aren't you listening? Why aren't you paying attention? Can't you see the signs of the times? A lot of us can say, been there, done that, went there, came back. And if you've if you been there, done that, went there, and came back, you should come back knowing there ain't nothing out there. That's the conclusion. If you've been there, done that, went there, came back, and he had mercy on you when you was doing it. He didn't allow you to die. Some folks didn't make it. Some folks is dead. But you, you were able to go there and come back. And you should have a testimony telling folks there's nothing out there. It's a trick. Submit yourself to the most high. So he said, how long? See, again, the formula is, is by the goodness of Yah that leadeth a man to repentance. In other words, when we went against him for so long, but yet he had mercy on us, yet he still wakes us up, yet he still deals with us. He still ministers to us, even though we're not paying attention. He's still pleading with us and begging us and protecting us. The word says he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. So he's watering the garden of the wicked man as well as the righteous man, all from the same rain. Because of his, his his mercy, which again causes them to say, how long? What, what must I do to get your attention? Say he's holding back his wrath. He's holding back his punishment. He's holding back what's inevitable to happen. But he's holding it back until the last Gentile come in. Until the awakening of his children, that process, he's holding back because he's having mercy. But that's going to come to an end. See, in order to have mercy, uh, he came down 42 generations and the world was made flesh and became a part of his creation to live the example. So he went real far on the rescue mission to come out of heaven. To be robed, found fashion as a man, he humbled himself and came obedient on the death, in the death on a torture stake. On a Roman torture stake. To save us. For y'all so loved. He's after anyone that wants to be rescued. And the word is going out. I want to rescue you. I want to, you're living wrong. You're headed in the wrong direction. You've been lied to. You've been bamboozled. You, you've you been hoodwinked. I want to rescue you. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? That's a fair question. Because he's, he's crying out to his children. Quit ignoring me. I love you. I want to save you. I want to help you. I want to rescue you from you. The devil's been defeated. I want to rescue you from you. From, from, from whatever got you captive. 
See, it, it's, it's the truth that'll make you free, that'll set you free from whatever's holding you bondage. Your dreams, your goals are holding you bondage. You're chasing something that's not there. There was a master dangling the carrot. And most I say, you'll never, you'll never catch the carrot. It's on a stick at the end of your nose, out of reach of your hands. And when you run, it's running away from you. It's just close enough to keep you hoping and chasing and running further and further away from the most high. Chasing the man, chasing the woman, chasing love, chasing the American dream. I'm telling you, it's a nightmare. <laughs> the money is fake. It ain't nothing but slavery. It ain't nothing but keeping you occupied. You're so busy, you're working your fingers to the bone to, to obtain something you don't even own. You're buying houses with fake money. The money is fake. I don't know how learned you are, but the money ain't even real. This place has been sold to other countries. Because when you buy something, you're buying it with money that ain't even real. This place has been bankrupt since 1933. Look it up. So whatever you purchase, you ain't even purchasing nothing because you bought it with Monopoly money. But you're chasing a, a, a dream. You're, 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 it, you're, you, all this is a facade. Natural stuff is a facade. Natural stuff is temporal. People are being led away from the eternal for the temporal. Because the devil has been giving the keys to the, to the temporal, messing around with Adam. Adam gave up the keys to the devil. And the devil been running this place ever since. The prince of the air. And that ain't in paperwork to everybody into this false sense of accomplishment that ain't even true. It ain't your car. It ain't your house. Here, because of death, it ain't yours. Because you can only stay here temporarily. This, everything is temporal. Ain't nobody different from, from the renter or the owner, but folks don't know that. If you look at it on short term, If you look at it on short term, you can see the disadvantages from renting and owning. Look at it on the real term, on long term, they both got issues. They both been bamboozled. <laughs> if you if you if you, if you mess around and find out what's really going on, come on, y'all, we need to wake up. He said. He said, how long? How long will you love simplicity? How long will you run away from truth? How long will you sell your soul for the temporal? What's necessary is repentance. There's so many knowledges out there. You got the, the Morris brothers. They got some knowledge, man. They'll, they'll, they'll show you some maps. They'll, they'll show you some locations. They are they masters at the birth certificate. How it's on done in Brad Street, the United States, ain't nothing but a corporation, and, and and how uh you 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 became in debt to the corporation through your birth certificate and social security card. They masters at that. They'll show you the different lands and all that, as if the devil is gonna honor the paperwork. The devil's the devil. <laughs> The devil's the devil. The devil got a gun. The devil got spiritual wickedness in high places. The devil lie. He's a liar and the father of it. Since when do they obey? They, they ain't obeying nothing. Him or his children. What do natural accomplish got to do with the real problem? And the real problem is sin. The real problem, the real problem is, is wickedness. The, the real problem is you commit adultery. You commit fornication. You're a liar. The, the real problem is the love of many uh, has waxed cold. Folks just kill each other, stab each other in the back for a come up. That's the problem. Folks think the problem is, is paperwork. Yeah, yeah, there's some paperwork. Yeah, there's some fraud going on. But the fraud is able to be executed because of sin. And the creator of all is going to deal with it. But when you don't have no faith, you got to take matters in your own hands. You 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 got to fix the you got to fix the problem yourself. And while you're trying to fix the natural problem, you need to be fixed spiritually. 
You ain't cool. You're evil. You're wicked. But you got head knowledge. You got book knowledge. You got historical knowledge. But you're spiritually dead. He said, how long? You simple ones, will you love simplicity? And you scorners, you scorn, delight in your scorning. You a boss, you, you mean, you evil. Delight in your scorning. And fools hate not a fool don't want to hear nothing. They, they don't want to hear about a, a truth, what's going on. F folks like to ignore. Truth makes, it's too depressing. Folks just want to party like it's 1999. Folks don't want to hear the announcement on the Titanic as we hit the iceberg. Folks don't want to hear that. It's my birthday. I don't want to hear that. All that negativity talking about we hit the iceberg. If we going to sink, we just going to sink. I want to have my birthday. I, I didn't put all, got the dining hall. I didn't rent the dining hall and everything and bought all this food. I don't want to hear all that negativity. Negative people, you ain't messing up my birthday. It's my birthday, and I cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. How long? 22nd verse, y'all. How long will the simple ones, will you love simplicity? And scorn is the light and scorn, and fools hate knowledge. He said, turn yet my reproof. I'm, I'm trying to correct you because I love you. T turn at my reproof. See, reproof is correcting us from self-destruction. Can I make that plain? It's bad when the pimp, the player, get his hands on the girl and the girl can't stand their parents now. Play it and got his soft hands on her. He, he used Noxema. His hands is soft. And he's strong. He wear pink like a girl, too. And he smell good with that big old pink cat light. And now she hate her parents. Her parents is hating on her. They old-fashioned. They don't know what's happening. They in the way. They, they messing up my life. They trying to stop me. They, the, the girl look at her parents and hate their reproof. Their reproof come to deliver her from having a million men running through her. Their reproof will stop her from turning into a dope fiend and, and being strung out on drugs and being murdered. Their reproof would save her life and her dignity, preserve her happiness, and give her a future. But the pimp got his hands on her, made love to her, blew her mind. Oh, Olivia's late, got distracted on the way to grandmother's. Turn ye at my reproof. Turn. turn. Because the fool that hate knowledge is definitely a fool. The, the devil will make you hate knowledge, but you become a fool. Because the reproof is not to stop you from doing anything but be happy, to be saved, to be rescued. The reproof is come to tell you that the house is on fire. You, you buying a new TV to put in the house, the house is on fire. You working your fingers to the bone to fix up the house. The house is on fire. That's what the proof is. I don't want to hear that. Turn yet my reproof. Turn, turn at my correction. I'm trying to help you. Some folks you can't help. It's they fight against you. No respect. You just can't help them. That's why he said, how long you simple was. Will you love being simple? <laughs> Scorners. <laughs> Haters, mockers. Folks that, you know, I whatever. Mocking. You know. Hey, don't want I don't whatever. 
You know, okay, you know. Then roll. Go do you. You know. But he's saying, turn at my reproof. I'm trying to help you. Turn, stop, turn. He said, if you do, he said, look, I will pour up my spirit on you. If you're willing to turn, I'm willing to give you the power to turn. I'll pour up my spirit on you. He said, you receive power after I pour out my spirit on you. The ability to live this impossible life. This life is impossible to live without his spirit, y'all. Because the carnal mind is, is wicked. We sin us to the bone. But through repentance and trusting him, casting our cares upon him, knowing that he cares, willing to deny ourselves and let his spirit reign supreme in our life, we can live the life he wants us to live. We can stay consistent. If you make a mistake, if you sin, it's a, it's a mistake. All you got to do is repent, apologize, and keep going. Because he deals with you as his child. Because walking in perfection, if you look at the word perfection, according to scripture, is, is maturity. You, you take, you, you, you'll take responsibility. And you know you, you're responsible to live right. You're responsible to walk before him in perfection. Like he said, he said, be perfect. Even as my father, which in heaven is perfect. That's what he said. That's what you need to do. Don't get caught up in this other stuff. Do what he said, though. But he's telling you to turn. Why? For your good. He tell you to turn in my correction. If you be without your father's correction, the word says you're a bastard and not his child. Hebrews, the 12th chapter. Turn at his reproof, his correction. Then you belong to him. His sheep hear his voice. He's going to come talk to you and tell you what you should be doing and shouldn't be doing. If you belong to him, you submit and do it. If you don't, if you're a goat, you're going to buck up. It ain't going to never work. So he's saying turn. And if, and if you turn, it, it happens mentally first. If you turn, he said, I'll pour out my spirit. This is a scripture that proves that you can turn without his spirit. Because he said, turn, and I'll pour out my spirit on you. We have the ability to repent. You know how them doctrines is. We so deprived, we can't even repent. We can't even turn from our wicked ways. We need his spirit to even have the mind to turn. Everyone has the shot at turning because it's not his will that any should perish, but all come unto repentance. He ain't creating people so spiritually deprived that they can't repent if they want to. Otherwise, it wouldn't be his will that uh, 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 that none that it, it wouldn't be his. It, it's his will that nobody perish. And it would have to be his will that it, those people perish if he made them so deprived that they can't even repent if they wanted to. That doesn't even make no sense. But that's false doctrine for you. But he said, turn at my reproof. Turn, you turn. Another thing, just since I'm on that topic, that's him playing games with people. Why is he correcting us and telling us what to do if we don't even have the ability to do it? He has to give us the ability to do it. So he talking to everyone, telling folks to turn, or he ain't talking to everybody. He's just talking to certain people, and other people can't turn. He made them so they couldn't turn, so they just going to burn. If that ain't crazy, I ain't never heard nothing. So, but back to the lesson. It was part of the lesson, y'all, but still. Turn yet, my reproof is what he said. Turn. I, I'm correcting you because I love you, and I want to rescue you, and I want to say, turn. What you chasing is tricking you. It's a trick. It is a lie. It's a trick. You ain't going to get no happiness out of it. It's not going to work. Ain't nothing going to work but his word. Can somebody say nothing? There's absolutely nothing that's going to work. There's nothing that's going to work except his word. Heaven and earth going to pass away. The only thing that's going to be standing is his word. And if you want to be standing, you're going to be standing with the word. Baptized into the body of the word baptizing into the Messiah's body, which was the word made flesh. 
Flesh died on the tree and rose again. So we stuck with the word, y'all, the words of eternal life. Everything y'all created, he created it by his word. And he's speaking life into the believer, those that will agree with the word and turn at his reproof. If you turn at his reproof, he said, I'll pour out my spirit on you and I will make known my words unto you. So why the Messiah said, the words that I speak unto you are ruah and life. This spirit in life. He's speaking life right now to those that's willing to accept the word over their own word, their own will, their own desire and turn, turn. Come on, y'all. Turn. Have you ever turned the channel? You was watching TV. Did you turn? Turn. You turn. You turn. Yeah, you turn and you turn. It's your turn to turn. You turn. You. You turn. You turn. You. You. You turn. Hit a U turn. Turn around. Turn. Come on, turn. It's your turn to turn. Tomorrow, not promise. Turn. Turn. If I keep reading, y'all, it's going to get rough. So I got to make a decision. But the main thing is to turn. There was enough said right here that he said, you know, wisdom is crying out. The word, salvation, is here waiting for you. And it's crying everywhere. It's global now. It's crying out. It, the planet finna get hit hard. But wisdom is everywhere crying out. Come on out. Come on out from among us. That's not necessarily geographical, y'all. It's spiritual. Because it's finna hit the planet. Come out from among her, be separate. Come on out. You've been called out of the darkness into the marvelous light. It's crying in the chief places and concourse and the opening of the gates in the cities, uttering his words. Come on out. Then it asks the question, how long? I've been saying it for a while now. How long? The word is saying you're simple if you haven't uh, took heed. I'm not talking about that churchy stuff. I'm talking about for real. How long will you simple ones love simplicity? You you love ignoring me and you still chasing the dream. You're ignoring me still living your sinful life. How long? He's asking the question. He's not trying to mock right here yet. Because if I keep reading, you're going to see his wrath is going to hit because... It's been a while. And even y'all get tired. He's holding back. But he's coming back. He's holding back to give you opportunity. To give me opportunity. If there's some stuff I need to clean it up, I better clean it up now. I'm not waiting till tomorrow. We should all be in a metamorphosis process changing into his image more and more like him every day, walking in perfection while being perfected every single day. Turn. You got an opportunity right now to turn at his correction. And enough has been said to disclose that his correction is for your perfection. His correction is for your good. His correction is not just to bully you around and tell you what to do. His correction comes to rescue you. Don't you want to be rescued? For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He come to rescue you from you, from this situation, from these circumstances. We walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Turn. Yeah, somebody's safe, Sean. The ones that turn. It ain't you can't you can't write nobody safe. Yeah. Folks, it's safe to turn. You ain't safe if you don't turn. Turn in my reproof. Behold, I'll fill you up with the rule of Hakadesh. I'll pour my spirit out on you. 
And you receive, you receive the power to stay turned. If you turn, I give you the power to stay turned. And you can follow me. Yeah. I'm like you, Nicole. I want to be rescued. Like Sugar T said in the E-40 record. I want to be saved. Is I, kids I, should I say, please save me, Yahushua. Turn. Turn to my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit on you. I'll make known my words on you. The word will open up and lead and guide you into all truth. You will change. You will go through the metamorphosis process. You will have power over sin. If you're willing to turn. Just look what he said, y'all. He said, because I have called and you refused. He's telling you the conclusion of the matter. Because I have called, he's only talking to those that refuse to turn. I want to make that clear. Because I'm begging you with Yah, with his spirit to turn. Because if you don't, look at what he said. Because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But you have said it not all my counsel. And with none of my reproof, I couldn't help you. You in a paper chase, all in my face. And no matter what I say to you, you ain't going to turn. This is who we're talking to now. I I also will laugh at your calamity. Look, at you know how folks like to paint Yah as this big old loving teddy bear. You can live any kind of way. Once save, always save. You got it on lock, right? Look what he said. Look what he said. He'll speak for himself, right? But you have said it not all my counsel with none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity when hell hit. That's what he's talking about. He's going to laugh. I will mock you when fear come. And folks are going to be shaking in their boots. Those that refuse to turn. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you. Then shall they call upon me. Now you want to play ball. No, I want you to turn at the call. Because when the call stop, it's going down. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Look what he's saying. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Oh, it's too late now. For they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yah. They were none of my counsel. They despised all my, they hated it. I don't want to hear it. Quit harassing me. I already told you, leave me alone. Mm, you got a good grandmother, uh, 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 cool. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. Oh, you cooked this up. You cooked up destruction. You cooked up wrath for yourself. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own device? You did this to you and your family. You destroyed yourself and your family. For the turning away of simple shall slay them. Because other folks didn't turn, you didn't turn. You run around with the wrong folk. The turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. You see other people ball until they fall, and that, and you want to be just like them. So you ran away from Yah. He told you to come out from among them, right? Blessed is the man that walketh on the counsel of the unyali. You, you are under the counsel of false doctrine. You're under the counsel of wicked people. You're under the counsel of your of your of your fallen family. You're under the counsel of your, your of your a spiritless spouse. Mm-hmm. And when they were turned away because they're a fool, they were turned away, right? So you turned away. And the prosperity of the fool, and it looked like it's working for the fools. It looked like the fools is prospering. That's why the man of Yah said, I saw the prosperity of the wicked, and my foot almost slipped. He was looking at the wrong thing. Almost got caught up in they mess because it looked it good. It was blinging. It was spinning. It was spinning. Y'all remember the spinners? It was spinning. It was spinning. Got caught up in his fist, hypnotized him, spinning. Oh, I want to spin too. 33 say, but whosoever hearkened unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Shall be eased. Shall be, you ain't have to trip. I don't care what go on around you. You ain't got to worry about it. 
Yeah, it's going to rain down fire. But those that obey Yah, you ain't got to worry about it. Destruction is coming. You ain't got to worry about it. Because why? You turned. You turn, y'all. You turn. Turn around. Why you can't. Turn around before it's everlasting to like Turn. Turn at his correction, at his reproof. Because he loves you. He sent me to let you know that. And I love you too. Please turn. Turn. At the word. Not religion. T turn. And the word will lead and guide you in all truth and righteousness. If you're willing to turn. Let's pray for the turn, y'all, right now. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you, humble as we know how, gleaning in the truth of your word. Asking you to touch the hearts of your children right now that's headed the wrong way, giving the heart of mind right now to turn, turn from their wicked ways, to repent. Give them revelation even of the trick that the devil then, 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 then pulled on them to cause them to walk away from you. It's not that they don't love you. They were tricked. Give them revelation. Disclose the trick right now. Expose the lie right now. Set your children free and give them the heart and the mind to turn. Turn from religion to accept true relationship. Turn from wickedness. Having a form of yadiness, denying the power thereof, and make the real turn to repent from all sin. I'm turning to all sin. All, all sin. In any form, fashion, just turn. Rain down. Your, your children is willing to turn. I'm asking you right now to, to shower down the power through your Ruach HaKadosh, your spirit right now. Rain it down on your children. Everyone is repenting right now. Give them the power to stay turned. Now reel them in to the ark of safety. Blot out their sins. Throw it in the sea of forgetfulness. And save them to the uttermost. In the matchless name of Yahushua Hamashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all may. Celebrate whoever turned and hit the U-turn. U-turn and hit the U-turn. Hallelujah. That was the lesson for this evening. We pray that the word found you, bless you real good, and that those... Again, that's accepted the, the spirit of repentance, that you rejoice, uh, and that you govern yourselves accordingly moving forward. If you hit a U-turn, I bet you you know somebody else that need to hit one too. Are you willing to share the message that they might on your social media platform? Push the share button. Super easy to go witnessing. All you got to do is hit the button. And I'm thanking you in advance, even in your stead, for hitting the share button. If you're a supporter of this ministry and it's a blessing to you, you'd like to see the ministry go forth and you would like to support it, you got the cash app. All you got to do is put in uh, the dollar sign Yahuda Israel, dollar sign Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L and, and sow your seed. And in advance, we say thank you, bless you. We're really appreciative of those that um, support, support the ministry. Um, if you'd like to talk about the word, dial 302-202-1102, extension 815-648, and we can talk about it. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Thanks for chiming in and hanging out with us. We love you. Y'all be Baruch and Baraka Shalom. I'm God.